The monarchy is German and has zero English or Celtic ancestry. Now, you see, Tyler, I, you know, see where you're coming from and what you're trying to do there. But bless you, you're working from a point of ignorance and a complete lack of knowledge and understanding. Now, that's not me having a go at you. It's just that the monarchy is basically Scottish. So in 1603, Scotland took over the English crown, and I think the Irish crown. So Scotland has run the show from 1603. And when they say he's the king of England, he is the king of England, but he's also the king of Scotland and Wales and Northern Ireland from 1922. So this is what you've got there. <clears throat> Now, when you say he's a German, yes, he does have German ancestry. He also has Danish ancestry. His father was Danish. He has so much ancestry with the crowned heads of Europe. His mother was 50% Scottish. His grandfather was a direct descendant of Malcolm II of Scotland. So, there's huge, his grandmother was 100% Scottish. His aunt, his mother's sister, the late Princess Margaret, her royal highness, the Princess Margaret, she was 100% Scottish. And if you looked at your own DNA, you'd get a surprise because everybody in England uh, calling themselves, and everybody calling themselves British, We'll have Viking, Norwegian, German. And that's why you have Anglo-Saxons. They're from Saxony and Germany. And they united with the Angles in Angerland, England. So do you see what I mean? And we've all got Celtic ancestry because all of us originated in the African Rift Valley in Kenya or Kenya. And then... Um, of course, came via Ireland. So I think trying to play that card in the hope that you might do King Charles down a peg, just forget it, son, you know. I mean, you're on a hiding to nothing. That's what I say to you, an absolute hiding to nothing. Guys, I need another 100 followers right now. Followers. <laughs> right, uh, so there, so that's dealt with that one.